The latest academy graduate has been with the club since he was an under 10. A versatile midfielder who can use both feet, Lewis Baker made 19 appearances for the youth team in the 2010-11 season while still a schoolboy. The following year he became the top appearance maker, featuring in 22 games and scoring five goals, a sign of things to come. In the 2012 Youth Cup winning campaign, Baker played in every round en route to the final, a game in which he scored. Last season he was handed the captain's armband for the under-21s after Todd Kane went out on loan. Baker signed his first professional contract in the summer of that year. He was an ever-present in the Youth Cup again and the Next Gen Series last season. He scored two goals in the semi-final win over Arsenal and was named Player of the Tournament. His development has not gone unnoticed on the international stage either, with Baker representing England at under-17 and under-19 level. Lewis's impressive form has continued this season, and he was rewarded for that when he travelled with the first-team squad to the county ground and was on the bench for the Capital One Cup victory over Swindon. FA Cup Round 3 at Pride Park, of course, saw him go one better, as our new number 47 made his first-team bow. His progress and breakthrough are a source of great pride to those who've watched him come through. Well, I think he's been here since nine. I think when Neil Barth and Jim Fraser prized him away from Luton at nine years of age, and um, he's worked with Bob Osborne, Eddie Newton, Frank O'Brien, A.D. Vivash, uh, now myself and Andy, and it's been ongoing. But I think it's the, the main thing is our first team manager has actually put someone on the pitch, and I think obviously with the stability, Jose's going to bring here, you, you hope uh, there's many more to come in the long run. I mean, for Lewis it's an early, it's an early start, but the, the, the main point is we've got someone over the line and it's, it's a start and we've got a rapport, I think, with the, the, the first team manager and like I said, there's a relationship there that hopefully is, uh, is long term so the academy can build on that. Those in the know at the academy believe we're very close to seeing one of the current crop breaking through to the first team squad on a regular basis. Maybe Lewis Baker can be that player. Making his way to the top He don't think it's a common on his name People 
keep asking him, was it given that Bertha doesn't stand for an act for him? No, he's living proof, proof. Let him rock in the booth. He'll get you wasn't quicker than a shot of vodka with juice, juice. Him and his crew are known around as one of the best. Dedicated to what they do and give 100%. Forget Mike, nobody really knows how or why he works so hard. It seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line. And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a design is written in his head every time before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme. And those motherfuckers he runs with the kids that he signed, ridiculous, without even trying. How do they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% for our first award goal of the season now that's been voted for by the fans via chelseafc.com Lewis Baker Peruse nice ball in oh what a goal Lewis Baker young player of the year to present the award to our under 21 manager Dermot Drummy Lewis Baker <laughs> Lewis Baker. Lewis Baker. Wow, Lewis. Two awards in one night. Yeah, I mean, even to win one award is a great feeling, and uh, to win this award as well has been great for me.